Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. From time to time, I find hidden gems that will help you save money and get you the best bang for your buck. Well, this video is all about that. While I was searching for an ultra fast USB key, I found an Amazon a USB key from Top Cell that is ultra fast and it is at the fraction of the price of the SanDisk Extreme Pro USB flash drive that is considered the fastest USB drive out there. I'm talking here about the Top Cell USB drive. So this is it here. And this is the SanDisk. And these both are 256 gigabytes USB flash drives. The SanDisk is USB 3.2, whereas the Top Cell is USB 3.1. The Top Cell USB key is less than half the price of the SanDisk Extreme Pro. It is at $32 US at the time of this video, whereas the SanDisk is at $68 US for the same capacity that is 256 gigabytes. In my video, I'll be submitting these two USB keys to a series of write and read tests and we will find out together what USB key is better and what USB key is faster. Now for the reliability, I cannot test it in this video, but I can tell you that I've been using the top cell USB key for about 11 months now and it never failed me. And also the SanDisk, also I've been using it for more than a year and it never also failed me. For the test to be accurate, I have formatted both USB keys with NTFS file system and the allocation unit size is the same on both USB keys, that is 4K, and both USB keys are completely empty. And I'll be performing the read and write operations from my PC that has an ultra fast NVMe SSD drive, so in no way my SSD NVMe drive will be the bottleneck. So let's start with the writing speed test. The first test consists on copying a large file from my SSD drive to both USB keys. Both USB keys here start very fast, but when the cache is used, the SanDisk drops in speed and at the end the top cell wins by a very large margin. The average speed of the top cell was 293 megabytes per second, whereas the SanDisk Extreme Pro average speed was only 176 megabytes per second. The second test consists on copying 6.28 gigabytes of photos and videos from my SSD drive to the USB keys. And this is a more common usage for USB drives. And here the top cell also crushes the SanDisk Extreme Pro. It is faster by 67%. It was averaging 244 megabytes per second, whereas the SanDisk Extreme Pro was averaging only 140 megabytes per second. The last write test consists on copying 6.14 gigabytes of small files from my SSD to both the USB keys. And this kind of operation is hard on any type of storage. And here the top cell also crushes the SanDisk Extreme Pro. It was averaging 78 megabytes per second and was faster by 67% than the SanDisk Extreme Pro that was averaging only 46 megabytes per second. The first seeding test consists on reading a large file that is 6.24 gigabytes from both USB keys and writing it to my SSD drive. And here the top cell also outperformed the SanDisk Extreme Pro, not by a large margin, only by 8%, and it was averaging 360 megabytes per second, whereas the SanDisk Extreme Pro was averaging 332 megabytes per second. The next seeding test consists on reading 6.28 gigabytes of photos and videos from both USB keys and writing them to my SSD drive. And here also, without a surprise, the top cell outperformed the SanDisk Extreme Pro by 8%. It was averaging 310 megabytes per second, whereas the SanDisk Extreme Pro was averaging only 287 megabytes per second. The last reading test consists on reading 6.14 gigabytes of small files from both USB keys and writing them to my SSD drive. And this is the only operation where the SanDisk Extreme Pro won by a very slim margin, which is 3%. So it was averaging 91 megabytes per second, whereas the top cell was averaging 89 megabytes per second. As you saw for yourself, the top cell USB flash drive won on all fronts. It is a far better value. It is much, much faster in the writing operation, and it is faster in the reading operation except for the operation of small files where the SanDisk is faster by only 3%. So in my opinion, there is no reason to purchase the SanDisk Extreme Pro. 
And if you want an ultra fast USB key, go ahead and purchase the top cell. The only reason where you want to purchase a SanDisk Xtreme Pro is that if you want more capacity, because the SanDisk Xtreme Pro comes also in 512 and 1 terabyte capacities, where the top cell, until now, it has a maximum capacity of 256 gigabytes. By the way, if you want to check out both these USB keys, I'm going to leave a link in the description. This is an Amazon affiliate link. I will gain a small percentage if we make a purchase using my link at no cost to you, and this will help my channel greatly. And also, I want to know for your own usage, what USB key will you be choosing in case you want to purchase one? I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly, and this way, you'll not miss my future videos. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.